A New South Wales corruption inquiry has heard allegations that a witness died by suicide rather than give evidence and that a Chinese billionaire gave $100,000 in cash to a Labor Party official. The Independent Commission Against Corruption is spending six weeks scrutinising the New South Wales Labor Party's alleged attempts to circumvent state electoral funding laws. Journalist Kate McClymont, who's with the Sydney Morning Herald and The Age. Kate, it was a sensational opening to the hearings today. Look, it certainly was, Lee. And I think one of the most sensational things was evidence that Jamie Clements, the former General Secretary of the Labor Party, had billionaire property developer Huang Zhang Mao, who's now been banned from coming back to Australia. In 2015, there was the billionaire with an Aldi shopping bag crammed with $100,000 in cash which they allegedly put out on the, uh, a desk in AOP headquarters. And this money was aimed at basically circumventing Australian and New South Wales um, electoral laws. You know, one of which is that property developers since late 2009 have been banned from, you know, giving donations to New South Wales. But what was interesting was that um, it appeared that this $100,000 was then washed back through what's known as straw donors, as in pretend people whose names were given to cover the true origin of the money. So, Kate, who has provided this information to the ICAC? You know, the money spread on the table, the donations through the straw men and so forth. Is it a whistleblower from inside Labor? Is it one of the supp supposed donors? Who is it? No, funnily enough, it's none of those. Um, in you know 2015, when the money was given, uh, just after that, the New South Wales Electoral Commission decided to have a, you know an audit of some of the donations, and what particularly took their eye was you know $100,000 worth of cash donations from 12 individual donors, some of whom had given to both New South Wales Labor and New South Wales Country Labor. Now, some of these were waiters and waitresses of Chinese origin who did not have the financial capacity to be giving this money. So it was the New South Wales Electoral Commission that started the inquiry once they realised the significance of what they were looking at and once that they were given information that it was um, billionaire Mr Huang who had come in with the $100,000 it was then handed over to the Independent Commission Against Corruption, which has um, you know, compulsory powers to undertake this kind of investigation. What else is expected to come up in these hearings? Former ALP party boss Sam Dastiari, and who was himself a former senator, he has volunteered to give information to explain how the donation systems work. And of course, um, you know, listeners may remember that um, uh, Mr Dastiari had to fall on his sword over his own very controversial relations with uh, Mr Huang. Kate McClymont, thank you very much for joining us this evening. My pleasure, Lee. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.